So I'm here with Ziad and Najwa at the GIST competition at the second Global Entrepreneurship Summit. How are you guys? We're fine. <laughs> Excellent. So can you explain your idea to me and how you came up with it? So basically it's a medical, portable medical device for long-term monitoring of the heart. And the interesting thing about it, the innovation in it is that it uses automated uh, technology to analyze the electrocardiogram and whenever an abnormality is detected, it's transmitted wirelessly to a dedicated monitoring center. The dedicated monitoring center is located in Lebanon. We have professional medical experts that are staffing this center. Whenever, an ab whenever a critical case is detected, we can send uh, help immediately and save the life of the patient. In most of the cases, when it's not critical, we can do better diagnostic using this technology. And let me ask, uh, maybe this is the obvious question, but how bulky is the device? I mean, I've worn a heart monitor before and it can be very annoying. It's, are you... it's not bulky at all. It's a vest. The sensors are integrated within the fabric. So uh, it's very convenient, very comfortable. You can sleep with it. You can, uh, you can take it off when you're having the bed. It's very easy. It's like plug and play. You wear it and uh, not supposed to like it. And who's your market? Who, who are you targeting with this that would need to wear the vest? We are looking for the kind of patients who need long-term monitoring and prefer to have long-term monitoring outside the hospital. Usually there is a large segment of the cardiac patients and those with high risk of cardiac problems who would want to be monitored for three to five weeks to make sure that there is no underlying cardiac abnormality taking place. And this is quite a significant segment in the cardiac market, we're targeting that one. In particular, people with ischemia, a kind of heart problem, and with arrhythmia, another kind of And what are your backgrounds? How did you get into this? How did you create this uh, product? Uh, well, I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, we went to the same undergraduate school, and I'm here because of his ideas. I studied, uh, my undergrad was in uh, computer uh, engineering. I focused throughout my studies on applications of computer engineering to medicine. And uh, then I traveled to the States where I did my research and development on this technology. Uh, I have two masters, one in biomedical engineering and the other one in electrical and computer engineering. I have a large number of publications relevant to this kind of technology, so I did a lot of work on it. We have an excellent team. We have Najwa as the engineer. She has relevant experience in, related to the business aspect of the technology. We have telecom engineers. Uh, we have a medical doctor on our team as well. Uh, so I think we have, we, we, we collaborated all together to create this uh, hopefully successful project. Amazing. And uh, what kind of feedback have you gotten since you've been at GIST? I realize you've, you've been through one round and you made it into the top 11 out of 25. Uh, we love the mentoring. Yeah, mentoring. mentoring was great. Okay. Yeah. He gave us really great feedback. He helped a lot and he was very, very interested in that project. He was passionate about it, almost like we are, you know. Yeah. <laughs> which, who, which mentor did you have? Hiras he, he has a, a medical startup in the U.S. and uh, he's a Tunisian origin. He's of Tunisian origin, and he, it seems he's very, very excited. He's in the cardiac industry as well. So that's where he started. We're in the middle of an interview. Yeah. So basically, yeah, it's uh, he, he helped us a lot. We loved that part. That was one of the best parts. We networked a little bit with investors, and we received questions that helped us shape our strategy for the future. That was pretty good. Is that shaping your pitch today? Uh, yes, it helped. Uh, of course, the questions of yesterday helped a lot. Uh, you changed quite a few slides. <laughs> That's what uh, the first round was about, basically. To help us improve the second round. 
Good. And what's next for you? Basically, you know, are you then intending on building this product once the competition is over? What's oh, next? We missed that part. Actually, we already have a functional prototype for this product. We have tested it on humans and it's very promising. Uh, the next step is to move it to a commercial prototype. So, so what we have right now is a proof of concept. A functional device that works well, that is beautiful and nice, but needs a little bit of modification to come to the market. So that's our next step probably. I see. And how did you take on funding to build the prototype or did you just do that with on your own and now you're looking for funding? We're looking for funding. Now we're looking for funding. We received some sort of uh, in-kind services from different organizations in the region. Uh, we won a couple of business plan competitions. Uh, the cash we got helped us a little bit push our project further. We still need a lot to go to the to the market. We need a lot of work. Yeah. And are you going to market this globally or regionally? What's the plan? The target market is... Well, we're going to start from the MENA region, since we're based in the MENA region. And the MENA region have the highest uh, rates of cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and obesity, and all the, uh, the profiles that makes the people, the candidates, to have cardiac problems. So we're starting from the MENA region, but yes, we're planning to. We actually are aspiring to become leaders in providing this kind of services in the world. That's a big ambition, but why not? We can do it. Currently, there is no global leader, so why not? Hey, yes. I say no go for us. it. I say go for it. They are waiting for you. We do our best. Excellent. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Uh, keep us posted. Thank you very much. Thanks.